Hey friends and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today I'm going to be working on making some really cute decor pieces for a tiered tray. And first we're going to start off with some scrap wood or you can get pieces of wood from like Hobby Lobby or whatever. Um, some fabric and some sort of twine. I'm just using scrap wood from my garage. That's why some of them are uneven. But you kind of want them all to be the same size because we're going to make um, fake books. <laughs> so I just cut the fabric to um, fit around the block, you know, on the top and around and on the bottom. And I first used hot glue, but I wasn't happy with it because it left um, bumps where the hot glue was. So I just did one side with hot glue and then did the rest with Elmer's glue. See the, the little bumpies? <laughs> you can see them. So with the Elmer's glue I just put it on and then smeared it with my finger and you want to do it on the bottom or top and one edge. You want the other edge exposed because that's going to look like the, the pages. And then I just did that with two more of the pieces of wood and the fabric because I wanted a stack of three books. You could do two or however many you want. And I just thought they would look super cute because I like decorating with books and I obviously didn't have any that would be small enough to fit in a tiered tray. So after it had dried, my plan was to use this white pen or white marker and write out the words that I wanted but I don't know the ink or whatever is in there the paint wasn't working on this fabric so I had to switch plans and I ended up using a gold paint pen and it kind of ruined the first word it just looks kind of jumbled so I'll probably redo that with a new piece of fabric and I'm just writing out the words warm winter wishes. I saw that on um, Pinterest. I thought it was really cute on like regular sized books. And then I'm just taking that twine that I have, or actually it's kind of like a really thin rope. <laughs> And just wrapping it around a few times, kind of like the books I've done in the past for um, decorating. And then I just went ahead and tied it in the back. And normally I like to show you um, the reveal after each project, but I'm going to show you that at the end because they all kind of go together. <laughs> so for the next one, I'm using this vitamin bottle, some more string, a wood round, and paintbrush and paint of your choosing. So I just stripped off the label and you can use any paint color you want. And I just wanted to use this little bottle because I thought it was cute. And I like to reuse trash or recyclable items just to make decor if I can. That way it kind of saves on waste and also saves money. <laughs> so I just painted that bottle white and I'm going to paint the lid to look like kind of like a, a mason jar lid. So I'm going to do grays and metallics. I just did like a solid gray color as the base and then I'm using the metallic, a dark metallic and a light metallic and just dabbing it on with a sponge just to give it the metal look. And after I finish that I'm just taking that wood round and a piece of string and I'm going to be um, making a loop at the top of this so that I can hang it from the string or twine around the bottle because if you don't make the little loop to put the string through then the little wood round ends up hanging crooked and then I just glued it and tied it on the back and cut off the extra
and then wrapped it around the bottle and of course I must have thought I hit record when I wrote out the word but I just used a sharpie and originally I wrote grow but then ended up changing it to cozy and for this next one I am just taking this um, little wooden sign and these snowflakes from the Dollar Tree and I'm just painting the little sign although I thought it was really cute like it was <laughs> I just mixed some black and blue just to make like a really dark like winter blue it almost looks black on camera <laughs> so I just coated out the whole thing and then on the top I'm going to write snow with these stencils and I did it a little bit crooked but that's just the way I do things. <laughs> and if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. I do tons and tons of DIYs and um, I'm going to be taking a small break here for um, uh, like a Christmas break. And then I will be back in January with all new DIYs. And I like when I'm doing these stencils to use those little um, round sponge brushes because it just saves on messes and leaks under the stencils. And then because I didn't want really the stencil look, I'm just taking this, I think it's like a chalkboard marker <laughs> and I'm filling in the lines and then I just simply hot glued the snowflakes on on the inside, I couldn't find the bigger ones because I wanted to put just one single one in there, but you kind of get the idea. <laughs> And then I forgot I had this. I got it from, I think, Walmart like last year and it was only 25 cents and I thought it was super cute and I just removed the little piece of paper that was in there and put in a snowflake and it's perfect size for a tiered tray. For my next little decor piece, I am using some wood rounds or wood beads. These are from craftparts.com if you guys are interested. And I'm just alternating. I painted some black and some white and I'm leaving some the wood color. And for this is going to be like a wood bead garland type or not really a garland, just like a like a tassel, I guess. Um, so I'm taking some rope for the tassel and all I did was trim off the end and then you separate the pieces and then take a piece of rope that you're going to be using that you're going to use to string the beads on and you want to glue that right to the rope that way it just kind of saves on tying and stuff but you can do it the regular way I do have a video on how to make wood bead garland with um, real tassels so I just hot glued the string in and then I'm hot gluing those pieces of rope um, together and then taking another piece of twine a little bit different color and gluing that at first and then wrapping it around to secure it in place If I were to do this again, I would leave the top a little bit longer so that it had kind of like a, a bushier top, I guess. <laughs> so let me know how many of you decorate for winter when you're done with like Christmas decor. 
Or do you just leave everything pretty bare until like Valentine's or spring? I don't usually decorate for Valentine's Day, but I love decorating for spring. And I do winter too. So I just stringed on, stringed? So I just put on the beads, um, you know, alter, alternating the colors. and then left a piece of the string hanging because we're going to make a tassel for the other end in the same way. And I just glued the string in between the rope and then repeated the same process we did with the first one. And I had to show you this because a lot of times things get edited out. <laughs> but this is what actually happened. I glued my thumb to the tassel. So then I'm just taking a comb and brushing through the rope just to make it kind of look a little bit more um, stringy and pretty. I like how it looks. It's just got like a really pretty wave to it. And this one's super simple. It's just a um, an ornament from the dollar store and I'm painting it white. I painted it with chalk paint at first and that didn't coat very well so I just took it outside and gave it a good coat of spray paint. And then I have this little wood piece that I got last year from Michaels. I think they're less than a dollar. I think it was Michaels. Could have been Walmart. I don't know. One of those craft stores. <laughs> Um, and I had written help yourself on the front and I had used that for Christmas or like Christmas coffee bar or hot cocoa bar. So because I'm going to be using this, these tear trade pieces for winter, I'm going to use the back and write it in black instead of the red Christmas colors. And that's it. Here is everything together. I think it all goes really well together and I think it's super cute. Let me know if you guys like seeing like um, coffee bar or cocoa bar setups. I will probably be doing one here shortly on my other channel. 
If you'd like to check that out, I will have my other channel listed in the description box. It's called Life, Love, and Endless Laundry. And I want to thank you all so much for watching and for your support. I really love all your sweet comments and wish I could comment back to all of them, but I do read them all. So thank you so, so much. You guys really make my day and I have a lot of fun doing this. So I hope you are having a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye.